you've obviously met so many people. You've done so many films over the years. Uh, I recently read a story about how you met Tom Cruise once. Yes. Several times. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, of course. But you well, you introduced him to something that he had never been introduced to before. Yeah, he had never. He didn't know internet pornography existed. Okay. Like, and now is this? Did you go to his home? Yeah, not to tell him that. Right. But I went. Uh, like, <laughs> that would be very yeah. prescriptive visit. <laughs> um, I no. He was. He, he. It was at the time when everyone thought he was a crazy person. He was yeah. jumping on couches. Um, he was just doing his Tom Cruise thing at full tilt. And I think he wanted some character rehabilitation, so he was meeting with comedians who could maybe help, like, uh, make him not seem so crazy, maybe. And so he called up Judd for a meeting, and J I, we were making Knocked Up at the time. It was a little over 10 years ago, and Judd was like, come meet Tom Cruise. And I was like, great. Um, so the first time we met him, I had to pee so badly as we were pulling into, as I was pulling into his house, I had to like just pee. And I rang his buzzer and he buzzed me in and there was a very long driveway and I was so uncomfortable to meet Tom Cruise for the first time and I didn't want the first thing I said to him to be, hi, I'm Seth Rogen, nice to meet you, I have to pee, can I pee in your house? It's like a f emergency. And so he had this long winding driveway and so what I did was I stopped halfway up it and I got a Snapple bottle <laughs> and I peed in the Snapple bottle in Tom Cruise's driveway. Um, looking back, honestly, there's no way he does not have cameras covering that driveway. <laughs> and, and when you pee in a bottle, like, you have to get gravity on your side, and it is like, it's not like, it, like for me anyway, like it's quite like an operation. <laughs> like, it's, it, 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 and I'm like, I'm pretty much up there, and so there's a 100% chance that Tom Cruise has video of me peeing in my car in his driveway, which he has not released. But uh, yeah, and then I told Tom Cruise that porno internet pornography was a thing that existed, which he did not know. How did it come up? Like, how does. I honestly can't remember. I think it just came up organically, like, you know, like how, how people, how it does. <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, my friends were looking at internet porn. And he was like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> like those two words. In and you, I mean, obviously he's a fantastic actor, but this is something he said and you believed it to be true? Oh, yes, very much oh, so. Wow. Yes, he was a... Uh... He was a, he, yes, I 100% believed he had no idea that there was pornography on the World Wide Web. Yeah. Which is... I, the first thing I knew about the World Wide Web is yeah. that there was pornography on it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the only reason I well, know it, it exists. Also, it's, it, yeah. it, it, it's such a natural... If you know about the Internet and know about pornography, it would be like knowing uh, what peanut butter and jelly are, but not knowing they have ever been on a sandwich. Yeah, and, that, and with all that Tom Cruise intensity, it's like, you mean to tell me someone's putting peanut butter and jelly in a sandwich? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, dude, it's like the most famous sandwich there is. It's everywhere. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, another person who's known for his ex uh, eccentricities, and we've talked about your interactions with him before, but Kanye. Yes. You uh, worked out. You have worked out with Kanye West. I have worked out with Kanye West several times, uh, which is not something a lot of people can no. say, I would imagine. But, now, uh, that to me is the opposite of peanut butter and jelly. That no, does exactly. not seem like a, a no, natural yeah, thing. I, I used to go to a, a personal trainer very briefly. I was in a film called The Green Hornet, which f for many reasons was not a wonderful chapter of my life. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, one of which is I had to work out a lot, just depressingly, to achieve that look, which was not <laughs> the most superhero-y look you could ever imagine. Um, yeah, I like at my most fit, I was like Chris Pratt at his by far least fit. Like I, I, I never had any Chris Pratt crossover ever in my life. But I would go to this personal trainer, and Kanye West had the same personal trainer. And several times he would show up early and he's a big fan of our movies and he would literally follow me around as I worked out and quote my own movie scenes to me, <laughs> which is so weird. Yeah, it's just like, and it's me just like, he's just like, so like McLovin, that's a funny joke. I'm like, yeah, man, I don't know what to tell you. Like, and this is how I work out. Oh, like this, I don't. Like, that's, that's how you get that Green Hornet you, This body. is the Green Hornet workout. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's always such a pleasure to see you. Give it up for Seth Rogen.